I just don't feel like it. Hey y'all, if you're new here, I am for Christine. Welcome to my channel. If you're not new here, say it with me. Hey boo, I see you coming back. And if my windbreaker is annoying, I'm a, a 90s baby, so just deal with it. Hey y'all, as you can see from the title of this video, I worked out for 30 days straight. I want to tell you what happened. If you're not like April, you're not even super skinny, you're not even like super popping, you're just like low-key popping per usual, what's the tea? I'm going to tell you the tea. So stay tuned for this video if you want to see how it went what my overall thoughts were and what i recommend to you if you are in search of starting a new workout journey let's get into it long story very short if you've been on my channel for a while you know my girl nicole her and i have collabed on a video i mentioned her in my monetization video i'm super hyped about her ooh, ooh. she hit me up and she was like sis i want to do 30-day workout challenge are you in and i was like Duh, of course I'm in, say less. But I think that was more of me wanting to be supportive, wanting to support my girl, wanting to see her program or whatever it was that she was putting together succeed. So I was like, sign me up, sis, let's do it. She indeed signed me up and we started this journey together. Me and 30 other beautiful, strong, independent women. Here's a few clips of how it went. I will be back to give you my overall thoughts after you see the journey. Here we go. Good morning, beautiful. Today is, what's today? March 5th? Today's March 5th and it is 8.06 in the morning. I have took on a challenge to work out every single day for 30 days. If you're asking me why I didn't start March 1st, we'll get into it, sis. But right now, we're gonna put on our seat belts and we're gonna drive to the gym, we're gonna chat. Throughout this video journey, you are going to see me. I'm going to update you on how I'm feeling, what day it is, how my body feels, which pre-workout is our pre-workout of choice. Today, I'm drinking the Alani New Cosmic Stardust. And honestly, I feel like I beat a dead horse because I don't know what I tell you guys and what I don't tell you guys. But I do, I'm not a big fan of carbonated pre-workout. I just like to be able to drink it all at one time and get it over with, like a C4 or a Lit or a Celsius that's not carbonated, that kind of stuff. This is our pre-workout of choice. Let's get going and I will chat on the way. If you've been around on my channel for a while, you saw me around Thanksgiving partner with my girl for the love of Peyton over on her channel and honestly you guys that relationship has just blossomed <laughs> that is my girl I've never met her in real life we've only ever been Instagram friends but we're both Aries and she is nothing but supportive anytime she makes a business move and it's something that benefits her and she's super excited about she lets me know like sis you need to get on this ASAP she just has my back and I know she has my back and she knows I have her back which is so important too. But anyways, at the beginning of the year, she launched a Choosing Me series. So apparently she went through a huge major weight loss change over the course of so much time. And she to go along on her journey. She was really raw about answering your questions. She was just, you can always expect her to be super honest with you, which I love. After that series launched and did really well, by the way, so if you haven't checked it out, I will link everything down in the description. Go check her out. But after that, she hit me up on Instagram. Like I told you, I tried to support my girl. And she was like, hey, I'm thinking about doing this thing. Do you want to be a part of it? And again, if you've been on my channel for a while, you know my weight loss journey and you know how i've been i've done this i don't know how many times i've been super fit i've been unfit i've been extremely unfit i've been extremely fit to my standards to my own body standards hi we're back so i've been in the gym right i've been in the gym but it hasn't been anything spectacular like i haven't been super focusing on my diet or super focusing on you know having a um, schedule in the gym like I was kind of messing around to where I would go in every so often and be like okay it's an arm day do some arms okay maybe it's a leg day do some legs but when I am super fit and my most confident I am killing it at the gym I am killing it at home in the kitchen and I just it that's what gives me the most motivation so 
when she reached out to me and she was like, hey sis, I want to do a 30 day challenge. Like, will you commit to this with me? And I was like, sure, you know me, I'm going to support you. And I did not start documenting this until day five, because honestly guys, today is the Friday after I got back from my beach trip where I had a full mental breakdown and I just wasn't thriving mentally. I wasn't thriving physically. I wasn't thriving at home. I wasn't, I didn't feel like I was thriving as a mom. I didn't feel like I was thriving as a friend. I just felt like I was very mediocre at everything I was doing. So I, of course, took this challenge seriously and worked out for day one because I mean, it's easy to work out for one day. I worked out for day two because again, it was easy to work out for day two. Day three, I kind of struggled because I had a work conflict and I didn't know how I was gonna fit in my 30 minutes. Oh, and let me just tell you, it's 30 minutes a day for 30 days. But um, you, go, you guys have seen, I posted a vlog of my workouts before, how hard I hit the gym sometimes. Some, sometimes, calm down. Sometimes I, cardio is 15 to 20 minutes weightlifting is anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour and i lift i try to lift their like moderately heavy or like heavy 30 days at first felt like a lot for me so then day three i just didn't know how i was gonna fit it in but the goal is 30 minutes so i was like you know what i can take the girls on a bike ride on day three for 30 minutes and so i did and so day three was fine but yesterday was day four and I felt so good after yesterday's workout. I had some dope ass music in my ear. I fucking, honestly, I killed it. I did cardio and core yesterday and I was tired, my muscles hurt, but I still did it. I still did day four because I committed to day four. And so last night I thought to myself, I should be documenting this process because I'm going to have mood changes. I'm going to have, you know, appetite changes. I'm going to have all of these things happen and I should document it, right? So this is what we're doing. Again, yesterday when I left the gym, I just felt so motivated. I made so many good, healthy choices yesterday. I snacked on an orange, who is she? I don't know. Last night for dinner, we had lettuce wraps and it's just, I know, I'm gonna be real with you for a second. Like I said, I've done this several times been in and out of fitness and in and out of fitness it's very much a way for me and I know every single thing my body needs to be its most fit for me to be my most confident I know everything it takes for me and my body and everybody's different your body might need more carbs than mine your body might need like a keto type diet with zero carbs like your body might need you know 30 minutes of exercise for three days a week where your body also might need 30 minutes of exercise for five or six days a week like it everybody's body is different everybody's body holds fat and muscle and water differently so in order to get onto this fitness journey and really understand it you really need to try to understand your body and what your body likes and what your body doesn't like and how your body feels and just keep track of literally everything honestly just keep track of everything but because I've done this for so many years, I know what it takes. But sometimes I just am not in the mood. Do you know what I mean? Like sometimes I don't want a salad for lunch. Like sometimes I don't want friggin' and I, I can I've learned to make healthy dinners, but sometimes I just want a burger or I just want a pizza. I like pizza. So sometimes I just don't feel like it. Yesterday I really felt like eating healthy, so today we're gonna see what happens I usually on my fitness journeys thrive Monday through Friday I am by myself everybody's at work I can you know decisive about what I'm eating but sometimes like on the weekends everybody's off everybody wants to eat everybody wants to have chips and queso and margaritas and I'm like okay let's do it you know what I mean but it's a healthy lifestyle it's a balance you'll learn what works for you so that was day four and that really prompted me to start documenting this process so today's day five we just arrived to the gym i put up a poll on my instagram yesterday and i asked you guys how you work out whether it's at home or at the gym and a lot of you said it was at home and sis if you get up from that couch and exercise in your own home and you're motivated to do so you're a superhero because i cannot i have two wild children 
who won't, wouldn't let me get it done even if I tried. But then also, I'm just never motivated at home. I don't feel like working out. I get no motivation. So I've learned that the gym, being around other fit people, other people who have similar interests as mine, motivates me. So that's why I come to the gym. Also, my schedule when I first started this journey was it, it's going to be crazy because we're still in the middle of the p word and the kids club is closed so before it was so easy to be fit and on my game because they had a kids club i would come i would bring liliana she would have such a good time playing with her friends and doing that for an hour while i worked out and it was perfect it gave us something to do for the day it got us out of the house and but and mind you this is when i was working so we would do that before we went to work but since the whole p word happened we haven't been able to do any of that and she hasn't been able to come to the gym so it's been hard to schedule things but hard doesn't mean impossible. Horace and I have worked it out and some days my days are weird. Like Mondays and Tuesdays I'm here super late, like 8.30 or 9. And the gym is packed and I hate it. Mind you, we started on a Monday. So that's another reason why Monday I wasn't really looking forward to working out. Monday and Tuesday because I hate going to the gym at nighttime because it's just so stupid packed. Day three I didn't come. And then yesterday, day four, I was here. And it's usually about the time I come around 1 or 2 on Wednesdays and Thursdays. And it was dead. There was like four people in the gym and I just felt so good just to be in my zone and have access to everything I needed access to and it was just a good time. My gym schedule. Monday and Tuesday I work out super late like 8 30. Wednesdays and Thursdays Horace is off so I can come anywhere between whenever I want to come in my ideal time to come in anywhere between one and four. Today's Friday so Fridays, Saturday, Sunday I work out super early in the morning because Horace has to go to work and he also likes to work out after me or in the mornings too so he's really being considerate of my 30-day challenge and allowing me to go to the gym instead of him or you know work being flexible with me as far as my gym schedule goes so love him for that today's day five and i just felt motivated to start filming this journey so i'm sure it's gonna be a long one but please come along with me i'm sure there will be some tears in this video i'm sure there'll be a lot of triumphs too though so i'm excited and if you're ready to start your fitness journey sis like just do it i'm gonna finish this and we're gonna go inside and i'll see you tomorrow and the next day and the next day and the next day for 30 days so love that for us we're gonna get so close all right guys i'll see you tomorrow bye hello beautiful people today is march 7th it's supposed to be day seven of my 30 day challenge and bam like my body hurts my calves hurt my hamstrings my thighs my obliques my abs my lats my triceps my biceps my forearm like literally everything hurts whatever muscle group you're thinking of right now it hurts I feel like I love and appreciate and respect the 30 day challenge, but at the same time, I like to pick up and put down heavy shit for an hour and a half every day. And that just seems unrealistic. So I did take one day off to just kind of walk around with the girls. So I'll probably do that again today. I just feel like it's so unrealistic to go and pick up heavy shit for an hour and a half today. So listen to your body first and foremost. Like my body literally cannot take any, like there's not a muscle group I could work out today that's not sore. So my body needs to rest. So I'm going to allow it to do that today. And today is Sunday. So the gym closes from like seven to seven. So, or the gym is only open from seven to seven today. And Horace works and I have the girls and it's just not an ideal day to go to the gym or that I'm even gonna be able to make it into the gym. So we might sit this one out. We might just go for a ride or do something outside for a while. But yeah, this is day seven and my arm hurt from holding out my camera, so I gotta go. I will check in, bye. Hello, it is day seven, I believe, day seven, and it's nighttime. It's Monday night, so I am currently at the gym. I took yesterday off, and honestly, you guys, I'm so glad that I did that. My body feels excited and ready to be back in here, ready to go pick and put down some heavy shit, but I wanted to hop on and say, because it's on my mind. Today is International Women's Day, and if you haven't got the memo, sis, like, women, we are supporting each other, we have each other's backs. I want you to win if I'm winning, and I hope, I hope, and I hope, and I hope that if you take nothing from this channel, you understand that I want you to succeed in whatever that may be. If you wanna be the best stay-at-home mom in the world, sis, kill that shit. Make those lunches, 
whoop them kids, like whatever you see fit. If you wanna be freaking up for your next promotion, go do that shit and kill it. If you wanna start over and go back to school and do something that seems impossible, sis, women, women, the ambition and the drive behind us, like, you can't tell me I can't do something. Especially not just because I'm a woman, you know what I mean? Like, and I've had people reach out to me today because I posted something on my Instagram story. I always try to lift you guys up. I always try to, you know, be, tell you something that makes you feel good because at the end of the day, we don't hear it enough. You know what I mean? I had a girl tell me that the man she works for is just not pro woman and just is very like, throws his weight around type of man you know what I mean and we've all been I'm sure we've all experienced some men that are just ignorant and also that's why I feel like it's so important to lift you up because at the end of the day they'll never understand what it's like to be a woman make sure everything runs behind the scenes every single thing runs behind the scenes without being macromanaged and just everything has to go smoothly because if it wasn't for you if it wasn't for us the shit wouldn't run in the first place. So that's why I try to uplift you. That's why I try to let you know whatever it is you set your mind to, that's what you can do, period. Like that's why if I'm on the internet commenting on your pictures every fucking day, it's because you deserve that shit, sis, because I'm gonna hype you up because you deserve to be hyped. You know what I mean? Support women, support small business women, support major business women, support stay at home moms, support your sister, your mother, your daughter, your best friend, the girl. If you like her shoes, hype her tell her sis your cute shoes are cute as shit like your booty popping like i see you just uplift each other because at the end of the day we're stronger together and nobody understands you the way another woman will understand you so i just have to get that off my chest i'm about to go pick up and put down some heavy shit for day seven technically it's my day six but when i am talking about it <laughs> let's get it <laughs> dark tonight hello people it is day 22 of working out how freaking wild is that 22 days like straight I've had a lot of thoughts but I will give all of those at the end of this video today's day 22 today's Monday March 22nd I'm super excited because this morning I woke up to an email saying that I got monetized bam, 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 bam. <laughs> Calm down. So I'm super hyped to go get this workout in. I'm gonna go kill it per usual. We're back in the gym today. We had a few light days, like playing at the park, cleaning the car type of things. And I, like I said, I'll get into all of that at the end of this video when we wrap it up. Afterwards, I'm thinking about doing like a juice cleanse. Let me know what you think about that. I'm sorry that I'm moving a lot. This lighting is really weird. But yeah, let me know what you think about that. If that's something you'd be interested in, seeing me do a juice cleanse. But yeah, my body feels really good. I feel really good about like moving around. So I think a juice cleanse will be good for me just after to close this little 30 day challenge I got my pre-workout let's go kill it at the gym and I'll see you soon bye you guys it's day we have made it to 30 days of working out for at least 30 minutes every day. Well, not yet. I still have to go inside. The lighting in here is horrible and I'm so sorry about it. I also have a hat on so that doesn't help either. But we're about to go in here. We're about to kill this shit. And then the next time you see me, I will sum up my thoughts. I have a lot of them. I'm about to go in here and kill this workout. It's day 30. Today is March 30th and we've officially are about to have worked out for 30 days straight so let's go kill it sis bye we're back as you saw from a few of these clips some days i was beat some days i was super motivated some days were harder than other days but moral of the story is i committed to 30 days i committed to 30 minutes for 30 days and 
it honestly gave me the extra boost that I needed because instead of sitting on the couch for 30 minutes to scroll on my phone while I had some alone time, it made me want to take the girls outside because I knew I had to post that I was being active. On Saturday morning, sometimes I hit my snooze button because I do not want to hit the gym. It made me get up that Saturday and just go crush it. Knowing that other people were holding me accountable put me in this mindset like, okay let me just do it you know what i mean that is what this 30 days has brought me it's also taught me that i mean 30 minutes is 30 minutes i have a super jam-packed day between filming and editing and being a full-time mom and sometimes i still work as a nanny it's just there's just a lot of things going on still trying to you know keep up my relationship with my husband keep up my relationship with my friends you guys know i'm preaching to the choir here i'm sure you juggle a million and one thousand things throughout your day too and we always feel like oh it's an excuse like i'm too tired i don't have the energy or you know it was a long day this this and that we all have excuses we all have excuses we can reach for when we just really don't want to do something but this challenge made me hold myself accountable other women were holding me accountable and seeing them check in every day it was so super motivating because I was like if they can do this I can do this like I do this all the time so why am I not doing it now do you understand what I'm saying over the past 30 days I've just learned to hold myself accountable make less excuses make time for myself sometimes the time that I get at the gym is the only time I have completely to myself. No husband, no children, no animals, shays, no dirty house, no dirty laundry. When I'm at the gym, it's just me and the gym. Like there's nothing else that anybody needs me for while I'm there. It's an hour, hour and a half, two hours, 30 minutes that I get to myself to breathe. And this doesn't mean 30 minutes at the gym doesn't don't think i was in there every day for 30 days like i was saying don't think i was in the gym every day for 30 days running five miles an hour at 10 percent incline like don't think i was in there just sweating 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 constantly some days i just did yoga some days i just stretched some days I just did light cardio on the treadmill where I walked or walked at a slight incline. I didn't kill myself for 30 days. And at first I was struggling so hard because I thought to myself, well, like I do this in real life, you know what I mean? Like I actually go to the gym and I actually lift heavy, but it was so unrealistic for me to do that every single day. My body really needed a break. And sometimes I found that that was my excuse. Like, okay, I worked out really hard for the past two days. Let me take the next three days off off and eat whatever I want you know what I mean but that's not how it works it's so different when you are training for a goal like my wedding or like a beach vacation a president's club trip then just living your everyday lifestyle and letting that be a healthy lifestyle so that's one of the things I've really had to learn with just wanting to be happy with my body and then also not be training for anything crazy but just be training for a healthy lifestyle it reminded me that I don't always have to go super hard but I do need to be doing some Something. I need to stop making excuses and stop lying to myself because the only person I'm hurting is myself. And I get a million questions all the time about how I stay motivated and how I do work out and you know do what I do in the gym. But I just have always told everybody who reaches out to me who says that they don't have the motivation or they don't want to do it. Like, how do I do it? If you really want to, I feel like the gym and a healthy lifestyle is the only thing in this world that every single thing you put into it is exactly the results you're gonna see if you're in a relationship you can put everything you have into that relationship you can pour yourself into that relationship but you're not guaranteed to have the best outcome you're not guaranteed to live this happy forever life that you want to live you know what i mean if you have a project that you're pouring your heart and soul into hopefully that project succeeds and hopefully you get everything that you put back into it but nine times out of ten you're not but at the gym if you're working hard if you're eating Eating right all of these results that you're looking for will come your way I just feel like every single ounce I put into the gym I get put back into me that's one of the reasons I love to go to the gym it's super reliable also my endorphins be pumping I'm just in a better mood I just have a better day I find myself to be more active I find myself to be more productive when I go to the gym and knock it out of the way so all of these things are the reasons that I choose to continue to work out even though no my body is not the freaking hourglass body that I want you know I still have a tummy I still have I'm always gonna have an ass 
because I was born with an ass. It's just how it happened. I have thicker thighs. Like that's just the way that I'm built. And I've also come to accept the fact that I will never look like Whitney Simmons. Like I will never be super stick skinny. Like even if I got super fit, like I would still be. Horace said this one time and I didn't know how to take it, but he meant with all good intentions that even if I were to be like the smallest I've ever been and ever could be, like I would still be built like a tank. Like that's just, that's just the way I'm built. And I've come to accept that. And some people would kill, you know, to be built the way that I'm built. People in the gym are all working towards different goals and whoever is in the gym, you might be that goal that they're working towards where you're starting right now. So my advice to you is if you want to do something, you want to get active, you want to live a healthy lifestyle, it is so much more than just looking good. Even though that is a plus, we all want to be popping. Do it for your kids, do it for yourself, do it for your husband, whatever the motivation that you need, do it for that and get in there and go kill it. It's time to stop making excuses. It's time to stop lying to yourself. Even if you're like counting calories and you're lying on your calorie counting, you're not hurting anybody but yourself. Comment down below, let me know if you're on a health fitness journey, what your goals are, what you're doing to reach those goals. And I challenge you today to come back next Wednesday. It will be another fitness related video. I'll be trying on super cute leggings that I've been trying this past 30 days. And I'm gonna check in with you. I'm gonna make sure you, whatever goals you leave here next week, when we come back on Wednesday, let me know if you reached your goal. Take 10 seconds right now, make a goal. You're going to yoga, you're going to the gym, you're gonna go get a gym member. Membership. You're gonna go for a walk for X amount of time, X amount of days. You're going to make better decisions on your lunch break. You're going to meal prep, whatever it is. You're gonna have a smoothie in the morning instead of tacos. Whatever your adjustment this week is, write it down in the comment section down below. I wanna hear it. And then next week, we're gonna check back in. If you're really serious about it, if, if you really wanna get something going, it's time to start. It's beautiful outside, the weather's changing, so there's no more excuses. And I just wanna see you happy. I wanna see you succeed. You're beautiful regardless. Don't be too hard on yourself but get moving i love you so much thank you so much for being here and i'll see you next week for a super cute legging fashion show that i'm actually about to film in 10 seconds but mind your business if you haven't already and you enjoy any of this content on this channel please 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 consider subscribing we'd love to have you the bell notification next to the subscribe button lets you know when i upload a new video and you don't have to wait for me to post it on social media if you do wait or the button's not working or whatever the case may be don't worry i will always let you know my videos go live on my socials these are my socials this is where you can find me on the internet and i'll see you in my next one bye <laughs> and oh no You all right? I'm sorry. My bad, sis. My bad. I didn't. I didn't mean to hurt you like that. Liliana. Liliana. Liliana Rose. You were being so loud. Be quiet. Go sit down, please. I put it. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, Oh, why? Five miles an hour <laughs> on the treadmill at 10 incline. Oh. If you're new here, I live right by an by a hospital. So that was an ambulance. You've heard one of many. I hope everybody in there is okay. But let's just let them have their moment. Bye guys. Bye guys. Okay, thanks. <laughs>